coming up on A Look Around Lakota. We're coming together to help our community. Plus, it was a colorful day for a run at Hopewell Junior. But first, our high school students received some big news recently. Hello, and thank you for watching. I'm Matt Miller, Superintendent of Lakota Local Schools. Our high school families have received the news that our one-to-one -one initiative is on the move. Students in grades 9 through 11 will begin receiving their district-owned Chromebooks in January. After a successful launch of our pilot program at our junior schools in September, our technology department is preparing devices for our older students. Seniors will continue to use the devices that are already available in the schools for the remainder of the school year. I'm just excited about the fantastic opportunities it's going to give to each and every student to do online research and it'll be easier to collaborate with other students on projects and like instead of having to wait on the family computer to do an online assignment, now I'll just be able to do everything. I think it's exciting. I think it's going to be a really good way for students to get to really like connect with their schoolwork a little bit easier. A lot of teachers I know already use um, like one login, they use Canvas and lots of other programs on there. So I think the teachers are going to really like it because again, it'll give them an easier way to connect with their students with their schoolwork. We're grateful for the support of our local businesses and the opportunities they give our students. We want to continue to grow programs like internships and guest speakers in our schools. We welcome 35 partners to Lakota, sharing with them the direction the district is moving and asking them to help us bring real world learning to our kids, both in and out of the classroom. So energizing to come to the breakfast and just get more information and learn and be a part of it. World learning is extremely important to our students because no matter how long their educational path is, there's always going to be a career at the end. So the more that we can do to help them figure out what that path might look like, the better prepared they'll be. So this is a great way for them to just come and kind of learn, be with the experts in the field and learn about the field. Some of our schools are taking fundraising to a whole new level this year and building community as they do it. Hopewell Junior School's PTSO combined health and wellness with community building at their first color run. Students ran through five different color stations throughout the course, ending with live music, food, and a dunk tank. Over at Cherokee Elementary, a new twist was added to the school's annual walkathon. Mrs. Montgomery and Mrs. Slusher became human Sundays during a food shower. A new food was added to the shower each time a fundraising goal was met. Our Wonder Labs at the district's early childhood schools are filled with innovation and tinkering. As one of the six daily specials, students spend time using their imaginations to explore and learn. Our annual Reach Out Lakota Food Drive is cruising right along. There is still time to bring in your donations. Our Stuff the Bus Tour is making stops at all our schools with a final collection at the October 26th home games at each high school. We'll have our big reveal to see how we stack up against Mason and Middletown on October 29th. Let's show them what we are Lakota really means. For the first time, we're inviting prospective families to an open house at both high schools on November 3rd. Visitors will be able to tour the schools and talk to staff and students to hear what makes Lakota such a great district to be in. More information can be found on our website. This wraps up another edition of A Look Around Lakota. As always, thank you for your support of Lakota Local Schools.